What is a CD4 count? When people are diagnosed with HIV, or if you're a medic and you want to try to find out how extensive uh, someone's uh, HIV is, or uh, do they have symptomatic HIV, which is the, uh, another term for um, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, uh, AIDS, uh, the CD4 level is always looked at. Uh, but a lot of people don't actually understand what CD4 count is. Well, let's start at the beginning. What does CD stand for? Uh, CD stands for cluster of differentiation. There are 250 different types that science is used and they're used to differentiate the different types of cells out there. And so CD4 is the fourth type of cluster differentiation. In other words, a type of white blood cell. And you have CD8, CD3, CD2s, etc., all the way up to 250. So what does this actually mean in practical terms? Well, when you get HIV, it gets into the body. Uh, HIV uh, hunts down the CD4 uh, cell, if you like, and that's where it can uh, get inside, uh, in, uh, integrate itself into uh, your DNA, and then just replicate and replicate and replicate. Uh, it doesn't necessarily want to kill uh, the host, uh, because most immunodeficiency viruses out there, uh, cattle, uh, chimpanzees, gorillas, uh, cats, for example, don't actually kill uh, the host uh, as quickly as the humans one do. Uh, and so it seems to be uh, killing humans by accident. And so uh, what's uh, going on is the virus is just wearing out the CD4 uh, cell uh, and then the CD4 cells drop. Um, but the reason why we die isn't because, um, it's, it's not a direct cause, because the job of the CD4 cell is not like other white cells of hunting down the virus. Um, and actually when you get uh, HIV, uh, you be can become very, very ill and then you get better relatively quickly. And this all happens in the space of a few weeks. And the reason why you get be better is because the CD8 cell uh, takes control and brings down the viral load. Uh, but over time, the amount of CD4s gradually drift down, drift down, drift down. They go, be they go below uh, 200, uh, which is the uh, the way uh, we, uh, we generally count them. Uh, and then when it's below 200, you start getting uh, types of infections, uh, cancers, and other diseases. The CD4 cell is a communicating cell. It's not necessarily, uh, even though it's a white blood cell, it's not necessarily going out there and killing other viruses. And so at the start of, your, of an infection of HIV, um, the CD4 cells are hit, but they're still able to communicate to the CD8s, and the CD8 bring down the HIV infection. But as the years go on, um, uh, and HIV takes more and more of a hold, uh, the CD4 cells reduce in number. And of course, if you get rid of all your communications, you're not gonna be able to communicate to other white blood cells to control a particular type of infection, or for that matter, any infection. And as this communication is lost, and um, then you get uh, AIDS or symptomatic HIV, uh, you get uh, very ill and then you die. Uh, so uh, that's effectively the job of the CD4 count. Uh, and so what we do in HIV medicine is when you're first diagnosed, we want to know what's obviously what your viral load is, and we also want to know what your CD4 count is. Uh, the way you get uh, better is you take medicine to bring down the viral load. Uh, once the viral load is undetectable, your CD4 cells don't renew, they don't multiply. You've only got one set of CD4 cells. Uh, what happens is over time, the CD4 cells that are asleep, because a CD4 cell that's asleep can't get infected with HIV, they start to wake up. And then as there's no HIV around to infect them, they start to do their job. And so some people can get um, ill when their CD4 counts start to rise. Uh, and that is uh, the immune system waking up and reconstitution. And it recognizes uh, other infections. And that's uh, that particular term is called uh, uh, iris, and that's immune reconstitution inflammatory syndrome. Uh, and that's what you get. Uh, and it can, uh, can be many, many months after you've been diagnosed and started treatment. Uh, but, and it can also land you in hospital. Uh, you can get very, very ill once your CD4 cells start to grain traction and start to fight these infections your body has because you don't realize you've got these infections. And as you uh, start to improve it and as you get better, the CD4 cell goes up and up and up and up and up. Uh, and then uh, it comes back to uh, a more normal level.
Uh, a more normal level of CD4 count is ideally above 400, but it does depend on the labs. Some labs go up to 500, uh, some labs go a little bit lower. That's a quick overview of the CD4 count. Uh, if you want to know more about viral load, you can watch uh, uh, this video. Uh, and also uh, there's another video on HIV evolution and life cycle, which are more older ones. Uh, see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.